Well, I was drinking beer, and then the beer wasn't doing nothing for me, so I tried the little marijuana. That ain't worked. I tried the Coke, and I liked it. And um, I became a master at it. I actually, I got HIV. Um, I shot up one time with my God brother. God bless him, he's not here today. And um, that's the price that you got to pay. So um, I decided that that was it. So I went to St. Michael's, they put me in the detox. I had the uh, social worker call over here. I had to come over here for an interview and they accepted me. I'm grateful for them giving me another chance to come back here. Mr. Scott, it's nothing that I can say negative about Mr. Scott. He's one of the individuals that came through the program, brightened up. He came in with a focus, he knew what he had to do, he's very big on right from wrong, so we just basically gave him a foundation where he can put everything in order. If you do what you gotta do and put God first, you get through the drug situation. Because I have lived homeless for two years and um, my life was up in shambles, so I turned it around. And this, this time, I plan to stay where I'm at. Um, I won't have to put God on the back burner. See, once you put God on the back burner, you slide back down into the situation that you was once in before. It's real, I think it's real hard maybe for people to imagine. Sometimes people might think that um, residents are happy just to have a shelter to come to. but. Can you imagine not having a place to go to after work that's yours, where you can pop on the couch anytime you want to, eat whenever you want to, um, watch TV or go out or, or just be comfortable hanging out in your pajamas for the rest of the night? I mean, it's real hard not to have your own space. And no one wants just to be in a shelter or to be in a program for the rest of their lives. And I think people should give to the shelters and the transitional housing programs and our permanent supportive housing programs because everyone deserves to have a place to live of their own. And everyone deserves um, to be able to become their best self. It's about being honest today. Um, stepping up to the plate, being a father, a husband, and a friend to my wife because I took them through a lot of pain as well as myself. Um, I don't have to wear those shackles no more.